Welcome to the Sport MBT Insider, a platform where we are unrelenting in covering our women in sport. And of course, we absolutely love celebrating those big moments. But of course, we love focusing on some of the small moments as well. But joining me today is a lady who plays netball for South Africa. Her name is Jessica Duplessis. And this is a lady who's doing absolutely phenomenal things on the court at this very point in time. Jessica, thank you so much for joining me. How are you doing? Thank you very much for having me, Aaron. I'm doing good, thanks, and you? I'm doing very, very well. Thank you so much for joining me yet again. I would love for us to start the conversation here. Let's remove Jessica from the netball court and take you completely off the court. Who is Jessica off the netball court? Well, I think uh, I think the two is very hard to separate at first, being Jessica on the court and Jessica off the court when it's part of your life every day. But um, Jessica off the court is still a student. She's still busy studying, almost finished in my final year, a very relaxed, enjoys her friends and her social life and spending time with my family. Also sometimes doing a bit of adventure activities uh, and definitely a foodie where food is concerned. Jessica Absolutely beautiful. You talk, of, you talk about being a foodie. I would love to, to touch on that. What's your favorite meal possibly? Do you like cooking maybe as well? I don't think a foodie has a favorite meal. I don't think there's a there's a there's a go-to of that one there's really just too many options but I do I do really enjoy my sushi and I I really enjoy my mom's um, home-cooked mutton curry that's my absolute favorite when I go home but yeah I think the range is too wide and I love I don't really I like cooking but I love baking a lot more absolutely beautiful Let me take you back to the court. Tell me a little bit about how you fell in love with the sport of netball and why you love the sport so much. Well, I started playing netball from a very young age and um, sports always been in our our family. So it was kind of an automatic thing. I have an older brother. He was playing sport. And then while I was like, okay, well, I also need to play sport now. And that's when I started playing netball. And the thing I love most about netball, um, it's, it's, it's the teamwork. I have played individual sports and it really doesn't compare to the bond that you build with the ladies on court and most importantly off court because you make, you make friends for life. Definitely. Let's chat a little bit about the fact that you are currently a student. You mentioned it earlier that you're currently in your final year. What are you currently studying? And tell me about finding that balance between being a student, but also pursuing a career in professional netball. Yeah, uh, that that balance is sometimes um, hard to find. I'm doing my um, postgraduate degree uh, or postgraduate certificate in education. Um, I finished my honours in sports science and finding the balance between pursuing a career and doing your student work is quite hard, but I mean, we need to make it work. Sadly, we don't, um, we can't yet make a professional career out of netball in South Africa, so we really have to um, just do our best. (laughs) And even that means doing all your work on tour till 12 o'clock the evening, still trying to find rest before your game the next day. Somehow we have to make it work and we do. Definitely. And that's absolutely phenomenal. The man in which you ladies find the balance between playing professionally and also keeping up with your day-to-day lives as well, as you're saying that you are pursuing your final year as well. Let's talk a little bit about one thing that a lot of athletes can't avoid in the world of sport, and that's, of course, injuries. Tell me a little bit about how you've coped with injuries throughout your career thus far. Well, I've been really, really blessed to not have had any major surgeries. One, I've had one minor surgery. haven't had anything where I've been out longer than six months. I've been really, really blessed. But I've learned from a lot of the girls and my partner that dealing with year-long injuries can really take a toll on you and um, sometimes a toll on your confidence. But I think that the, the love of the game, of netball and any other sport... Um, it overrides your injury and that prolonged time. And I think that's why people just keep on keeping on even after the injuries. Beautiful. I love that statement. Keep on keeping on even through the injuries as well. Let's talk a little bit about a tournament in South Africa 
that netball ladies absolutely love. And that's, of course, the exciting Varsity Netball Tournament. Why is this tournament such an incredible special part of netball in South Africa? I, it's the, I love the tournament. I know my fellow university students love the tournament. This year was the first year. At, you know, the first year that we've had it for a week long, it's usually about two months long, I think, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken, eight weeks long. But I think we really enjoy it so much because you get to play every Sunday or Monday, um, see what happens on court, go home, fix your mistakes, and each week you get a new chance to try harder and to do better. And I think um, it's, it's a long tournament for us, a lot of time spent together with the ladies, so I think that's why we really really enjoy it so much and it's the biggest competition under university students definitely let me take you back to where you're from now you're originally from kimberley and you went to work school in Cop. tell me how this school this high school has shaped you as a student athlete and some of the important lessons that have laid the foundation to you pursuing a career now with the proteas well i think northern cape has played a big role in my life um we, it was a very good sports school, very good academic school. Uh, we were unfortunately not always the best uh, netball school, the best netball team, but I think that's where they shaped me to become such a, or to find such good balance between my academics and between my, my netball sporting career. And being at that school really taught me that even though we were a smaller school compared to all the other big netball schools, we, we never... I didn't want to say didn't care, but we've re respected everyone that um, we played against enough to know that even though you might be a very big school, we're not we're not going to stand back and we're not going to stand down just because of your name. Um, so yeah, that's taught me a lot of perseverance and a lot of resilience. Definitely. Let's talk about that perseverance, that resilience that has now led you to playing for the SPA Pro Tears. And you recently made your debut as well for the Pro Tears as well. Tell us about that overall experience about dawning the green and gold for South Africa, but also what it meant for you personally to walk onto the court for the Pro Tears. I think every time I need to explain this to someone, I am about to burst into tears. <laughs> it, it doesn't get any better than wearing that green and gold and wearing um, your country's badge on your chest. And I think especially because a lot of athletes dream about it for so long. And when that moment finally comes, it's so surreal. You don't really know, like, is it happening? Is it not? Is, is, this, is this finally what I've wanted for so long? So now during Africa Cup, when I got my first cap, it's, it's a huge honor and it was a really a huge privilege. And being in a team like the Spa Proteas has made it so much easier to step out onto that court with confidence and represent my country because they're such a great bunch of ladies, so supportive, um, such leadership within the group and a great management group to make it so much easier I don't want to say easier, but so much better and so much more worth it to represent the Proteas. Oh, absolutely beautiful. I would love for us to focus on the fact that you've just recently started your career uh, with the Proteas, as you mentioned, at the Africa Cup. And there are so many years ahead of you. Is there any specific goals or achievements that you've set out for yourself looking into the future? Yeah, well, I think the first, uh, we've got a few big tournaments coming up, such as um, the Quad Series in England in January, Commonwealth, I think, in July. And then I, I really, for short-term goals, want to work hard enough so that I can be selected for those teams. And a bit, I don't want to say this is a long-term goal, but the 2023 Netball World Cup is upon us. So, uh, yeah, that's in my or on my um, goal list as well. So I really want to work. Um, towards that and I mean playing in tournaments such as that um, you, you're you seen um, you get an agent maybe and hopefully be able to play in the UK Super League or um, one day in Australia in their Super League. Oh, absolutely beautiful. I think the one thing that our South African ladies have proven to us this year as well and years before is that we as South Africans are most certainly talented enough to play in these international leagues as well. You're locked onto the Sport MBT Insider, a podcast for unrelenting coverage of women in sport. I absolutely love diving deeper into the journeys of our athletes, coaches and administrators to get to know them a little bit better than we do. Coming up this Wednesday is an interesting round of questions 
quick fire questions, a great opportunity for some good laughs and some great banter. Keep it locked onto Sport MVT, where we celebrate our women in sport.